What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Scale News Update. If you're not familiar with the show, this is where we talk about the news topics that happened in the scale world of RC over the past week. If you enjoy the Scale News Update, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video, and let's jump into this week's topics. This week, Losi released a 1972 Chevy C10 V100. And this may seem familiar, and that's because this truck was already released in 2018. We actually talked about the first release of this truck from Viterra, in February of 2018 in episode 11 of the Scale News Update, the early and painful days. If you're not familiar, Losi absorbed what Horizon likely felt were the viable vehicle options that were previously offered under the Viterra name. They brought those under the Losi umbrella so that they could continue to sell them. And at that time, any vehicles that didn't get absorbed died a silent death with the Viterra name. But the V100 lives on. It's a platform that didn't really have a direct competitor under the LOC or any of the other Horizon brands, so it made sense for them to take it over and continue that vehicle to be available. Viterra normally did a decent job with the styling of their bodies, and I think this was one of the cases where they did a very good job. If you're looking for something to just have fun, play with out in the street, here's an option, take a look at it. $259 available already through LOSI. Check it out, I'll link to where you can see it in the description below, as well as links to the rest of the stories that we'll talk about today. Delta Plastic coming back into the news this week with a 240Z no prep body. 240Z is definitely popular these days, and this one on a no prep car looks pretty good. Seeing a 240Z scaled up to match the other body sizes may look a little off, but on its own, this thing looks pretty good. If you're a Datsun fan, here is one of the only options that I have seen for you no prep racers. This hasn't hit their website yet though, so you'll have to wait until we see an official release, but this one posted on social media should be coming soon. A new release popped up on A-Main this week, something ahead of the holiday season. This is an easy RC 118th scale with a number of different body options. The Glacier, for example, is a square body truck, but it's got molded inner fenders. It's a true hard body, you know, folding down tailgate. Looks really well detailed. I believe it looks like these are actually rebranded FMS vehicles. Not sure if Anything is different beyond body painting colors and things like that, but they're rolling out several body options to start with, with the square body truck, an FJ Cruiser, a Jeep JL, which isn't licensed, neither is the square body truck. These are dead on though, so no licensing does surprise me a little bit, but price tags on these also very reasonable. So as far as finding support, I imagine that you're gonna find crossover parts, easy to find replacements. Maybe not a ton of upgrades, but replacement parts at the very least. Either way, some pretty good looking options for hard body 118th scale crawlers. You can check out the full line of these in the link in the description below. Again, Easy RC, not a brand that I've heard of, but seems to be just another brand that we often hear of now in a different name, which makes a great transition into this new release from Rebel RC and their RJ Rebel Con. Now this is a Jeep Wrangler unlimited styled body, non-licensed, got a very angry grill on the front, a roof rack and lights kind of fill out the scale detail look. Underneath it's got portal axles with very Traxxas-esque locking and unlocking differentials, also has a two speed, again, very TRX4 underneath of this very Jeep-esque body. Now, again, this is from Rebel RC. We've talked about them before. They're mainly a web store, but they are bringing in some products now listed under their own name. They're attached to Rebel Off-Road, which is a large off-road shop in the full-size world, and partnered also with Jeff John, former president from Axial. This vehicle, not a ground up design though. We've seen this vehicle and talked about it actually previously on the Scale News Update. It's sold in Europe under the Absima Sherpa name and it's sold out of Asia as a Wycong 4102, I believe. So again, it's a vehicle made by somebody else and applied with different names for different brands. Not uncommon, we obviously saw it in just the previous story. Pricing this vehicle does still put it just right in line with its 
direct competitor. So it doesn't have a huge benefit in that area. There does appear to be some aftermarket support direct from Wicong for the 4102 Pro as they refer to it over there. So you are gonna have some ability to do upgrades and replacement parts, things like that. But it does appear that you're going to have to order those parts, at least for now, direct from China. If Rebel has success with this vehicle, I could see them bringing over those parts and putting them under their name like they did the actual truck. I guess we'll see. You can check it out. They've got it listed on their website with a full list of the details of this vehicle, which again, will be linked in the description below. This week, I wanna thank Ridgewald again for partnering up with us and sponsoring the Scan News update for this month. Again, this is a product that I've been using myself for years and I really enjoy using these wallets. Super compact, holds up to 12 cards and cash with money clip on the back. This is the forged carbon fiber version that I picked up. Huge offering of different styles as far as a regular carbon fiber weave, tons of different patterns, anodized aluminum options, and a ton of different colors. Beyond the style choices, I do just truly love the function of it. Again, it's a wallet that I've been carrying myself for several years already and happy to partner with them for this month. Thanks again to The Ridge for sponsoring this month's videos. If you guys are interested, make sure you go to the link in the video description. Use code HARLEY10, it'll save you 10% off of your order. Next, Fataba is releasing a new flagship radio, the 10PX. This is likely going to be very similar to the 7PX again with just those three additional channels. Now, when using these, those additional channels are generally used through S bus control. So you've got a four channel receiver and then you can expand that using S bus options. S bus isn't something that a lot of surface RC people run into all that often, but definitely has some interesting capabilities that allow you a lot of function. All of the details on this radio haven't been released yet. We've only seen a little bit of information come out of Fataba Japan. Once we see full details on that, we'll check back in, see what the final retail price is going to be, and a list of all features that they publish. And going from one radio to another, Flysky released that new Noble Pro. This is an 18 channel surface radio huge number of channels on this. We talked about it briefly a week or two ago, but now we can see the full details. It looks like this radio is going to be around $400, which is a pretty good bargain for the number of channels that it's listing right now. And these radios are generally fairly programmable with switches and buttons with as many channels as they have. It does appear that this radio is coming with two receivers. One's an eight channel, one is a four channel. As far as a lot of the details, it's a little bit hard to get into because the translation isn't that great. It appears that it's got multiple speeds depending on how many channels you're using as far as latency goes. It does come with a nice hard case for carrying and it's got a phone mount on top, which don't see a lot, but if you're the type that likes to attach something to your radio to film, could be handy. If you just so happen to be looking for a new 18 channel surface radio, you're in luck. So go check out the FlySky website for all of the interesting translations and a little bit of information even. Last week we talked about the release of Spectrum's two-in-one brushless setups, but I had missed that they're also releasing some rebuildable brushed motor options. With Spectrum just now deciding to jump into the brushed market with these rebuildable motors, these are coming with either three slot or five slot armature options. In the three slot, you can get 35, 55, or 80 turn and in the five slot you can get 16 or 20 turn options so a small number of speed range options there not sure why they decided to jump into that brushed market at this point and under the spectrum name instead of the dynamite hard to say interesting choice but if you just want all of your electronics to match brands perfectly here you go. We talked about FMS a little bit earlier and a handful of weeks back, we talked about the upcoming 1 6th Jimny. FMS just released videos and images giving all of the details on this upcoming 1 6th scale vehicle. Now this, while labeled 1 6th, is basically the size of a typical 1 10th scale. The full size Jimny that this is modeled after is a very tiny vehicle. This, I believe that this is modeled after the LJ10 or LJ20, and that vehicle is basically a golf cart. So once scaled up to 1 6 makes for just a very reasonably sized vehicle compared to others that are probably already in your fleet. But FMS went all out with a great looking body, scale details all over. I've been looking for a hard body option or wanted to jump on the 1 6 scale train without going to a Willys this is going to be a great alternative. 
For those of you that liked the Element Night Runner, now you can buy that body set separately. And these are in stock in stores now. If you weren't looking to add a whole nother vehicle to your fleet to try and get this look, you can now pick up that body set on its own. Make sure that you note that you are going to have to adjust the wheelbase if you're using a standard 12.3 truck, as this does have the 12 point eight inch wheelbase. And after you pick up the Night Runner body set, Knight Customs released even more scale accessories for it on his My Mini Factory. This time it's the new Spotlight set. This is a roof rack individual pod style light bar setup that goes above the windshield. Again, you can find these on his My Mini Factory where you purchase the file, download them, and then 3D print them yourself. And of course, this isn't the first option set for the Night Runner from Night Customs, as there is no coincidence in the name. Night Customs has a whole host of different options for that vehicle. We've talked about them before. Go check it out, go shopping, pick yourself up a bunch of scale accessories and get your 3D printer warmed up. Next, let's get into a bunch of tire release information. A number of these we've talked about in the past, but are just starting to hit shelves in different places. So worth going back over and just in case these hadn't made it to the places that you shop most commonly up to this point. First off is the 2.230 U4 Hyrax from Proline. This would be a perfect fit for vehicles like the Losi Laser Nut. It's got the taller profile for 2230, so it's made for the rocks with their best performing rock tread pattern. Pick this up in either Predator or G8 in stock now. Next, Duratrax's C1 scale tires. Now these are a C1 legal tire, so 4.19 inches or smaller in height. And these are available in either pre-mount or just the regular bare tires like you're used to purchasing. But Duratrax has a number of different styles from more all-terrain to very aggressive. These were released a while back, but just starting to see these become available in more places than just Tower Hobbies. Then from J Concepts, those C1 Tusk and Hunk tires that they released a few weeks ago, now available as well. So quick from release to available on those tires. These are sub four inches tall, so they're not at the upper limit of the C1 tire guideline, but if you have a vehicle that specifically needs a slightly smaller one like that Element Night Runner body, these may be a good option for you there. And then J Concepts had two new releases in the no prep scene. They now have the Mambo tires in green and gold compounds. So the battle for the best no prep drag racing tire seems to be going all over the place. But these now, two more tire compounds that you can test your heart away and figure out what's going to be the hottest choice wherever you're racing. And in case you're racing in a gravel parking lot, they also released the Dotec tread pattern. This is a treaded no prep tire or drag racing tire specifically is how they say it. They say drag racing slash bashing tire. So depending on where you're racing, maybe this is the edge you need to beat your friends or buy a broom, one or the other. Here's an option. And finally from J Concepts, that IROC Z no prep body, also available. Not sure why this week we all of a sudden saw a bunch of these tire options become available, but either way, with the times we're seeing lately, not something to complain about. And then finally for this week, the G-Made GS02F Buffalo Pickup Edition is fully released. We saw a pre-order listed for it a few weeks back, but now you can buy it and get it right away. If you're a big G-Made fan or you just really love the look of these, it's something that's a little bit different out there. You don't see as many G-Mades out on the trails. If you wanna see more on this, I do believe Matt from the Scale Builders Guild did a live video assembling one of these here last week. So I'll try and get that linked in the description below. You can go check that out if you've got some time to kill and wanna watch someone else build a kit. But if you wanna watch a different live video instead, Make sure and tune in this Wednesday for Live Takeover. I missed last week, but back in the studio this week. Looking forward to catching up with Matt on Live Takeover. Definitely something that I hate to miss, so glad to be back. But that's gonna do it for this week's topic. For this week's question, currently feeling a bit overwhelmed lately. Too much going on, not enough time to do it, not enough time at home to get any of it done. For this week, what is your best stress reliever. Is it RC building or driving or is it something completely unrelated to the hobby at all? Put it in the comments below. Maybe I'll find a great solution for myself. With that, thanks for watching this week's scale news update. As always, I appreciate you guys for spending the time to watch the news. 
hit the like button if you enjoy these videos. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you see the videos as soon as they get uploaded. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.